and we're back. This time I'm going to show you how to create a shamrock in Adobe Illustrator. Let us start with the black fill color and a stroke. I activate the rectangle to hold shift. So I have a perfect cube. Then rotate it while holding shift. Activate the pen tool and then hold alt. This little sign will appear below your cursor and you can drag a curve out of the side. Then hold shift, drag it upwards. You need to be above the path, otherwise you've got a different tool activated. Use your smart guides to find the perfect point. Go to view and make sure your smart guides are activated. So now we've got a heart and we can work with that. Select it, then go to object path and offset path. Activate preview and maybe we need 10 pixels. Ah, that's better. Select the inside and now go to window and open your gradient menu. We want to add a gradient to it. Just click on it with the gradient tool. Click on a preset and then double click on the little circles and we will add a green color to each. Let me try it out. I think that looks good. So the gradient tool is a bit nerve-wracking. I should definitely invest more time myself into mastering it. But you can rotate it, what you should be doing here. And down, be confused if you misclick at some point, like I just did. Just activate what you don't need in the gradient menu, unlike these two circles in the middle, and then delete them with your delete key. And it looks fine, I guess. We can use that. Now select the black shape in the background and we will add a gradient there as well. Maybe we'll change the colors. That looks better and I will take that as well and that should be fine. Make sure you've got both selected and then activate the rotate tool. Hold Alt and click on your center position. We need 120 degrees which is 360 divided by 3. Click on preview you see what you're doing and then copy it. Press Ctrl D afterwards. What we want to readjust the angle for the first one to minus 20. For the second one to plus 20 but make sure that you've got both shapes selected as these are two once again select both let us zoom in i uh, hold alt and use the mouse wheel for that i've got only snap to point activated and now i'll click on control and i can drag the anchor point and connect it to the other one same thing here don't just click on it, otherwise you've got the anchor point selected. We don't want to have that. Instead, just hold control and then drag it to the center position. It's fine. I zoom out, pressing control zero. I select it all, hold shift and alt and I resize it. And now we want to create a stem. We will use the star tool for that. Click on your up and down arrow keys until you've got only a triangle, then hold shift. Afterwards press A for the direct selection tool. Click on your top anchor point and reposition it. Then hold minus so that you can delete these anchor points and we will reposition the bottom anchor points a little bit as well. Now we'll use the anchor point tool and we'll drag a curve from the left to the right. Once more I use the direct selection to A to reposition the bottom points. Let me try out what looks good. Now we can work with that. 
and we want to add a little bit more of a curve to it we can adjust the curve with the handles it's fine let us add a gradient to it as well so we we'll open the gradient menu just click on it you've got your gradient tool Maybe we try out different colors just to see the effect. Uh, I don't really like it. Let us stay with the original. That's okay. We can now group it, right click group, hold shift and all to resize it and align it properly. A little bit of a detail we can add is at the bottom we can create a curvature as well. Just right click and ungroup, zoom in. And then let us use the anchor point tool again, just like this. Then minus to delete this anchor point. Maybe I'll adjust it a little bit more. But that's fine. And this is how you can create such a shamrock in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.